Welcome to the Money Manifestation Mastery Podcast with your host, Laura Waldman, where we talk all things money. Big money, big purpose, big power. Waking up your wealth for heart-centered business owners and entrepreneurs. Stop contracting against what you want. In today's episode, I'll help you identify where you're consciously or unconsciously sabotaging the very thing that you want. Let's turn this around once and for all, guided by the intelligence, the wisdom of your heart, body, and soul, so that you can manifest, you can create the physical results that you truly desire in your business, in your bank account, in your body, in your life. Let's dive in. What you want, what you desire, is coming from a deep, rich, wealthy part of you that lives inside of you. It longs to be realized. It longs to create. It's immensely powerful, as well as being very vulnerable and sensitive. It longs to blossom. It longs to be liberated. It longs to grow and become, to merge with all of life. You are like a seed of consciousness, and that seed needs to be nourished. It needs to be tended to. It needs to be taken care of. It needs the right environment to grow, to thrive, to blossom, and to eventually bear fruit. But here's the thing. You have been consciously or unconsciously suppressing this growth, sabotaging the potential of your unique seed, squashing it, hiding it, pouring water on your own fire. And this has got to stop. If you want to create the results that you truly desire, it's going to require you to make some changes and turn this around once and for all. I have spent years, 20 years, two decades, trying to understand how to heal, how to transform, and all the ways that we get in the way of that process, all the ways that we are unconsciously hurting and harming ourselves, suppressing our true nature for health, for healing, for thriving upon this beautiful planet. I have also used a lot of energy against myself through self-sabotage, self-harm, suppressing myself, dimming my light, putting my fire out. And I've worked very hard to figure out how to stop doing this for myself and supporting my clients to stop doing this as well. This has been a deep, rich, long journey. And I figured some things out that I want to share with you. It is my heartfelt passion to help you fast track your journey and fast track your results. The things that took me way too long to figure out, I can now share with you and hopefully save you some time, some energy, and some pain. The first thing that's really important to share is that We need to come into this conversation from a place of deep self-love. Let's call on your wealthy witness, the wise one within, to simply observe. We're not going to go into any judgment or criticism. This is about putting a spotlight, bringing consciousness to parts of yourself that have been buried in the shadows, that have been unconscious. There is so much of us that we are unaware of. It's incredible. There is so much going on in our unconscious aspects. It's like the iceberg. We can only see the very tip of it. Most of the iceberg is under the water. Or a tree or any kind of plant. A lot of that tree or plant is underground. There's a whole rich root system that we cannot see. 
It's very similar to us. It's not wrong or bad. We just cannot see in the depth of the darkness of ourself. And this has been one of my areas I spend a lot of time working with is the shadow, is the unconscious, to understand what's running us, creating the results that we don't want, and also how to turn this around to create the results that you do want. From my point of view, your wants and desires are waking up new levels of who you truly are, is connecting you to your power, to your creative potential. It is your fuel for creating in your business, in your finances, and your life. It is an incredibly powerful part of yourself. But there is this inner fight going on, an inner battle, an inner war between your power, your creative self, who you truly are, who you long to become, what you long to experience, and the part of you that wants to keep you safe and protected, that's scared, that doesn't like the unknown, and that has a lot of data and evidence that it may not be safe, or a lot of historical hardwiring from your family, from the culture that you were raised in, from the society that you were raised in, telling you what's possible and what's not possible, what's allowed and what's not allowed. That part of you that longs to belong, that longs to be part of the community, that wants to fit in and desperately wants to feel safe, gets activated every time we start to put our little toes into the world of wealth, the world of our soul, heart, and body wants and desires. Those old patterns and programs start to activate. So even though what you want is so beautiful, so gorgeous, and should absolutely be nourished and supported to grow and blossom, there will be a much stronger energy that comes in to essentially try and protect you. It creates buffering, padding of protection around this immensely powerful part of yourself. Because that power is also very vulnerable and it's wanting to grow and become something that you haven't experienced yet. And that sends off signals of danger, uh, risk, and your whole nervous system is going to fire off to stop you in your tracks. The most important thing is to begin to identify where you contract against yourself, where you contract against your creative power and potential, where you contract against the very thing that you want and desire. Most of your energy will be going into protecting yourself, keeping yourself small, keeping yourself safe. So this is what you want to see. How do you contract against yourself? How do you put your own fire out? How do you self-sabotage? Where do you turn your back on yourself? Where do you self-abandon? You've spent time and energy connecting to what you want, doing your visualizations, maybe making your vision board, having your affirmations, spending time connecting to what you want. But what's very important is start to see, witness, and identify all the ways you squash all that wonderful work. There will be thoughts that come up, stories that come up, beliefs that come up, self-doubt, shame, fear, frustration. There will be many things that you tell yourself on the level of the mind. So what are those stories? What are those thoughts? What are those beliefs? See them, identify them. And what do they do when it comes to manifesting what you want? Start to witness, start to be aware. It's really important to rewrite those stories, to transform those beliefs. But first you need to see it. You need to identify what's going on there. What's the feeling that comes up when you connect to what you want? There'll be lots of feelings in there that contract against what you want. What is the feeling for you that comes up? And what do you do to 
avoid feeling those feelings? What are all the ways that you buffer, that you avoid, that you protect the feeling that you don't want to feel? Because this will create action. All the ways that you suppress, that you squash, that you hide from yourself. And what's happening on a body level, through your nervous system? Do you get speedy? Do you get busy, busy, busy? Do you freeze? Do you get exhausted? Do you get angry and fiery and want to start an argument? What are some of the ways that your body responds, your nervous system responds? What are those body responses that come up when you're contracting against what you want? When you're hiding from who you truly are and what you truly desire? There are different levels and layers in which these patterns, these habits show up. They're hardwired. They've been with you for a long time. But we want to bring the wealthy witness in so you can see and you can identify where you're contracting against the very thing that you want. I have done so many things to contract against what I want, what I desire, who I truly am. And it's been a really long, interesting journey of unhooking from some of these wounded ways of doing things, patterns of self-sabotage. I was in the blind spot with so many things. I didn't understand what was running me. I started with you know, overworking, pushing myself really hard through sport, this A-type personality, perfectionism, wanting to be the best, but highly competitive then I developed eating disorders and the self-harm that went on between myself and food was incredibly sad. There would be self-denial, self-punishment and overeating, binge eating. I was in an inner hell with my relationship with food. That went on for 10 years. What I didn't understand then was that I didn't know what to do with all these feelings inside of me. I had all of this power, all of this desire, all of this drive to create. But at the same time, I had deep trauma, self-hate. I didn't know how to hold myself. I didn't know how to love myself. I didn't know how to receive. I didn't know what to do with this energy. It was a real mess. And it took me time to be able to liberate myself from my unhealthy relationship with food. I've self-sabotaged with drugs, with marijuana, alcohol, and I would be incredibly hard on myself every time I wasn't perfect, if I overdrank or I overate. I knew it wasn't the right thing to do. I knew these weren't the ways that I wanted to be, but this sneaky, slippery snake part of myself would come in and take me over. It almost felt like I couldn't control it. So I've spent a long time trying to figure out how to unhook myself from un some of these unhealthy patterns and behaviors. And then later on in life, looking at my relationship with money, my relationship with business, and all the ways that I consciously or unconsciously self-sabotaged there as well. Overspending, not knowing how to hold money, getting into a real mess with how I was working in my business. Because wherever you go, there you are. These patterns of self-sabotage follow us because they're within us. And this is what I love about manifestation work and working consciously with business and money and leadership because life will always mirror yourself back to yourself. It's an incredible tool to understand who you are, how you are, and where you are in your development. And it's exposing where there's still work to be done. And by getting clear on what you want and why you want it, you are waking up this powerful, deep, rich, wealthy part of yourself that's been buried underneath the rubble, underneath the shadows of shame and pain. And your job is to liberate yourself, to help yourself come into life, to consciously create what you desire. And to do that, you need to stop contracting against yourself. You need to stop fighting yourself, 
hurting and harming yourself. But that's a journey. That's a process. And step one is awareness. To start to identify where you're contracting against yourself each and every day, throughout the day, in little micro moments. There'll be big things, but also tiny things. In moments, this can feel overwhelming. When you start to see what you're doing to yourself and how you're working against yourself, it's like having one foot on the gas, one foot on the brake, And then you wonder why you keep looping and cycling in the same old habits and behaviors, why you're unable to move forward, why it seems like it's one step forward, two steps back. But once you can understand what's happening, ah, it makes sense. So step one is awareness and becoming the witness of yourself. Again, not from a place of self-criticism or self-judgment, a place of self-awareness, because once you can see, then you can start doing something with it. The good news is, is that there is a way through. There is a pathway to consciously create what you want. Welcome more and more of yourself into this world to transform those money blocks, transforming the patterns, the behaviors, the beliefs, the stories, the hardwiring of your brain and rewire it to receive what you truly desire. But this is a practice. This is a process. It's going to require patience and kindness and self-love as you navigate, as you move from the old world, the old wounded ways of doing things, and as you enter this world of wealth, this world of conscious wealth creation. There's going to be a lot of failure, a lot of falling off your surfboard. And that's why this is a daily practice. This isn't about being perfect. This is about practice. This is about discipline. And the good news is I have been sharing all these tools and practices with you in this podcast. So if you've missed some of the initial steps, go back to the beginning of this podcast. I'm taking you through my step-by-step money manifestation mastery methodology, how to turn all of this around. To stop contracting against yourself, Sabotaging what you truly want is actually a skill. It is a skill to develop. And to develop any skill or new habit requires practice, requires space and time. You need to want what you want more than your comfort zone. You need to be willing to change. I promise you it is so worth it, even when it feels incredibly hard, incredibly difficult, and incredibly painful. There's a lot to sift through, a lot of old stories, a lot of old beliefs, old patterns, patterns of protection, projection. We project out onto other people. We project out onto other situations. We like to blame feel disempowered, feel like a victim. All of that needs to be turned around so you can step into your power, step into your ability to consciously create what it is that you truly desire. Sometimes it will feel like the whole world is against you and everything is working against you. But there is a way to tap back into that wealthy wisdom, that creative power, the intelligence of what you want and desire and to listen to it. It will guide you through the darkest night, the greatest pain, the greatest challenge and will shine a light on where you need to go next. And please know you don't need to do this alone. Make sure you get support. Tap into all the content I've been sharing here in this podcast and reach out. We've got some incredible resources and tools to support you. You can head over to my website, laurawaldman.com. Got free online retreats, free online resources, We've got live in-person events. We also have an opportunity to apply for a one-to-one free call with me. We can have a deep dive together. You do not need to struggle alone anymore. So remember that this is deep, rich, and powerful work. 
You transform your reality one step at a time, one day at a time, one breath at a time. Start to become aware of where you contract against yourself, where you consciously or unconsciously sabotage the very thing that you want. It will be mirrored from the outside world in, but what we want to find is where you're doing it to yourself. And let's transform that pattern, that program, that habit, and welcome you into a whole new world of conscious wealth creation. Thank you for joining us for today's episode, Stop Contracting Against What You Want. I'm here to take a powerful stand with you and for you to help you do this. Please reach out for any additional support. Visit my website, laurawaldman.com and tap into the wealth of resources ready and waiting for you. And I look forward to being with you again next time for another episode of the Money Manifestation Mastery Podcast. See you then.